Creating a circle with a pen tool at first may seem like a difficult task, but if you break it down into simple steps and simple parts, it's not that bad to make a circle using the pen tool. First of all, I'm going to choose the ellipse tool and I'm going to create a perfect two inch circle. I simply click and I get the dialog box. I'm going to type two inches by two inches, click OK. Now with this two inch circle, I want to analyze it a little bit. First of all, you notice that there are four anchor points. If I click on the direct selection tool, I can notice that these anchor points have the handles that go out just over half the distance between this anchor point and the next anchor point. These anchor point or these handles are creating the angle that comes off of the anchor point. So to recreate this, I could grab the pen tool and try to mimic the same areas and drag the handles the same distance that this does. But instead, I'm going to use a help that's built in to Illustrator. I'm going to go up to View, go down to Show Grid. Now I have this nice handy grid that's going to help me in creating a circle using the pen tool. I'm going to move this circle so that it sits right on the grid. I'm going to click with the arrow tools to make it sit on there. Now when I click on the anchor point, I can actually count and see how far the handle goes. So it goes one, two, three, four, and a little bit. That's the same for each one. So now what I want to do is create my own circle using the pen tool. I'm going to bring my pen tool over here where two lines intersect. I'm going to click and drag one, two, three. Now notice how as I drag up and down, it kind of goes up and down a little bit, the handles do. If I hold the shift key, this is going to constrain it to 45 degree angle. So I'm going to go ahead and move it over one, two, three, four, and then just a little bit. I'm now going to go down one inch and over one inch. And I'm going to click and drag it down, holding the shift key, two, three, four, and a little box, a little bit of the four, fifth box. I'm going to do the same thing down here. And then I'm going to click up here, holding the shift key again, drag it up four and a little box, a little bit of the fifth box. Now to close off my circle, I'm going to click on my first point that I created, and I'm going to drag and hold shift to the first handle that I created. Now by doing this, I've created a circle that is pretty close to a perfect circle. With practice, you'll be able to do this without using the grid. But when you first start off using the pen tool to create circles, I recommend using the grid so that you can get your circles more accurate and precise. To turn off the grid, simply go back up to View, Hide Grids. And now you can see the circle that was created using the pen tool.